Alright, let's give it a go. Oh, that's the air conditioning kicking in. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Feel free to put your uh, hands out like that. Feels great, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got a fair, even just idling over. Yeah. Not sure when the M14s were designed, probably in the 50s maybe, or even maybe sort of during the war years, who knows? Mm. Yeah, you can sort of see me doing the dance there with the uh, with the rudders there, squeezing on some air, so we turn right. There we go. There's a, bit of, there's a few stones and so forth here, so I try not to power up too much. So how long have you been doing this for? Uh, I've owned a yak for probably um, 12 or 13 years now. A, we have a syndicate of uh, six people. Yep. We, we own three of them. I used to own the grey one in there outright. But um, that, uh, after a while I decided that it was too expensive to do that. Yeah. So I uh, put it into a syndicate, which has worked out really well. You know, there's a couple of guys in the syndicate that can um, work on the aircraft, which is nice. Alright, here we go, power's coming up. Perfect up to 2 2 4 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 
I've got them. No, you just put a little bit of on it. Hey, yeah, it's twitchy like you said. Yeah, it is a little twitchy.
it's certainly spread out now, Newcastle, compared to what it used to be about 30 odd years ago. Yeah, 
is uh, Lake Macquarie Airport down there, so uh, Matt Hall uh, does all his aerobatics out of there, they've got a, a, paratrooping, a parachuting school, and you might all be, also be able to see the Westpac helicopter park. Oh, yeah. yeah, they've got a nice little set up there for that. Oh, so the Westpac? Yeah. That used to be, yeah you do, you pass that on the freeway, on the, um, not the freeway, on the roadway there. Just shoot up past there, the bridge down there to the right, you can sort of see. before going to Sydney, but this is the best way to see it. Oh yeah, easily. Yeah, like, this is like a thousand, 500 to 1,000 feet, which is probably at 1,000 now, but helicopters as well, like, you, you can almost see those, what, what, what colour hat people are wearing. If you like big properties on water, you'll see some really nice ones as we come around the corner here. Yeah, it's funny, I've had to go off um, mainly south here, down to the water to get people up when I was a paramedic. And oh, yep. When yep. you have sail down, something like that, it's uh, hard in your throat sort of stuff the first time you do it. But yeah. Yeah, there's some pretty steep hills there. Yeah. And you can sort of see... Um, you can sort of see some of these houses that are right up against the cliff. But my favourite one is just coming into view now. 
You can sort of see it down here, it's sort of a third of the way down the cliff face. See what the That to me is uh, the best property in Newcastle, I reckon. There's some money in those areas, isn't oh, it? Yeah. I reckon. Basically, point down at this ridge line, and we'll just I'll go to the right, and we'll uh, fly basically down to the, the ocean here. And then we'll do a lap, and then we'll uh, cruise out towards the uh, the city. There's um, airspace that starts pretty close to us uh, towards the airport there, so we just can't go all the way into the city itself. Most of the way. There's a little scout camp on the left wing tip down there. Yeah. That they set up and uh, they run a big scout retreat through there. You wouldn't even know it was there, would you? Unless no. it was. Yep, exactly. After I saw it from the air, I went looking for it from the ground, and yes, yeah, done by the scouts, owned by the state government, right or the parks, parks association. Okay, the crew is uh, 1856, entering runway 25, uh, to the right, track the wall down. Right over here. My house is just down there, so I was five my house. Usually my kids are asleep anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I came down here we, um, when the earthquake happened, I was at Kempsey working and we got a call to get down to Newcastle as soon as we can and um, we got to see some of the really old houses and that oh, yeah. is incredible the history of it here. There's some nice old houses, that's for sure, in, uh, in Newcastle. Particularly down towards the beach, so we've got some paragliders out today. Yep. I'll just do a little turn here, then I'll tilt the right wing down, you'll be able to see them again. Just see them off the point there? Yeah. yeah. I don't know whether I'd like to do that or not, it seems incredible, but I don't know. Yeah, you've got to have exactly the right weather and wind conditions uh, to make it work. Yeah. And if you don't, yeah, it can turn, turn against you pretty quickly. There's Merriweather Beach down the left wing tip. It's surprising there's not a large number of people at the beach yesterday. Yeah, it was packed yesterday, I can tell you that. Oh, it would be. There's Newcastle obviously down there on our left wing side and yep. you can sort of see Honeysuckle and that new commercial area that they've set up down there as well which is pretty popular and we've got Nobbies off to the right there Yeah, and uh, forward Yep, I'm going to start my turn now just because the airspace for the airport starts pretty much yeah. just to the right of us and then yeah, you've got the Yacht Club coming into view You can sort of see all the coal loaders there off the right wing tip. Yeah, it's and, Yeah, I know. And on the other side of the um, the Hunter River as well, there's a lot of coal that comes in. And they all come in through this train line. That you can see the train coming in. Yeah. And um, much runs all the way out there. Up near, um, what is it, Stroud? We have a radio tower up on top of the um, mountain there. Right. So, the telemetry for the sewage treatment plants and everything like that. Yeah. And you get up there and it's incredible to see how long the trains are. Oh, right. Yeah. You just can't realise that it's like down on the left there. Yeah, we're there. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's a lot of coal that comes in there. And you can just off the right wing tip now, you can see the train line that runs the coal in pretty much from Singleton. We've got to stay to the left of that, um, but there's a lot of dust and so forth that comes out that train line with the... Yeah. How long have you been in Newcastle for? Uh, yeah. Since 2005. Yeah. yeah. In the um, early 80s, when, uh, before they did the war, the policing up it was really dusty and dirty for the coal. Yep. 
Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Yeah, it took a long time to clean that sort of stuff up, but... Pretty incredible now, though, how they've fixed it right up. Yeah, it's changed a lot. Well, since I've been here. Particularly, you know, property prices and the type of the sort of properties that they're building. Yeah, they're building this, this on the left here, you can see yeah, this, this um, bypass of the building. My son was living at Cardiff with his girlfriend and they moved out to Maryland and he was saying how much the works have done. Yeah, it's helped. He works at um, John Hunter New England Health on the IT. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there's been a lot of work. I mean, all the infrastructure's been going on for a while, but it's finally sort of starting to happen. The, yeah. the Hunter Expressway was the big one. Like, getting that done finally made the commute out to the airport bearable. Yeah. I think the biggest problem with some of the works is there's a lot of mines up here that they don't know exist. Absolutely, yeah. And they subside. Yeah. Yeah, if you've ever bought a property in Newcastle, you know that um, you sign your life away with mine subsidence. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've got, to, you've got to sign a waiver saying you're aware that there's probably a mine under your, under your house. And yeah, you can see the clouds burning off nicely now over Newcastle at least. Looks, looks a little bit more cloudy over towards Cessna, but definitely be able to find, find a hole to do some, um, do some fun stuff. What do you want to do? And yeah, you pretty much this is sort of some of the new suburbs. Um, we've got Maitland basically behind us, on the right wing tip there, and flying over some of it now, but yeah, it's all expanding this way still, lots of housing developments. Okay. So, the sad thing is, uh, I don't know, the, the states and that, that they put in, they just jam them in, and you only want 20 acres, so that'll give you an idea how far away my neighbours are. Right, yeah. Then again, we bought 20 acres a few while ago for 45 years and so yeah. you can't anymore. Yep. Yeah. Oh, those days are behind us. Usually the Hunter's much better weather than um, Cessnock, sorry, than um, Newcastle, but today I think Newcastle's got the better weather. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's the fact that it's this nice big sort of dry bowl means it gets a lot less rainfall than uh, the other areas and that's why the, 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 the vines like it so much. Yeah. You know, they just, they love the fact it's um, uh, humid but nice dry, dry conditions most of the year. It could be pouring at my house in Newcastle and I come out to the airport and I can see blue sky. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just... Yeah, Might get a bit of a thunderstorm in the evening or the afternoon. Yeah, okay, traffic charge up to 1889 accompanied with uh, 1856 is fired to the south of Fell, 1500 we're inbound. All there. But yeah, today I think um, definitely a bit more cloudy over here. It'll probably, I mean the forecast had rain all day for Newcastle so it's done better than that. Do you fly in the rain if it's only light? Yeah, yeah, it's the rain's not a problem as long as we can see five kilometres in front of us. So which you often can. The main thing that affects us is the wind for landing. Yeah, crosswinds. Yeah, and um, and maybe the wind for turbulence. Yep. Not that turbulence is gonna make the aeroplane break up, but it's just uncomfortable and bounce around. People come out and they're like, Oh, it looks fine, what's the big deal? And you're like, you're gonna be thrown around like a pepper shaker up yeah. there. And sometimes they want to go and they have a good time and sometimes, you know, they want to go and they have a horrible time, so at least you'll let them know that that's the risk. Yeah. Keeps them on the same page. Yeah. It, it is what it is with the weather, you've got no control over it, so. Right, yeah. And you know, sometimes people want the experience to be perfect and other times people just want the experience on the, on the day that they need it because you know they're only up at the hunter for a, a weekend or something yeah uh, this is something i can tick off on me bucket list anyway oh nice yeah what else is on it Sorry? what else is on your bucket list um i want to go gliding again but turn off the closest place but you've got to get again it's you've got to pick the weather yeah um a couple of years ago, my son and I rode mad bikes around Tasmania. My younger son, we had eight days down there. That was a trip and a half. 
Oh, that's right, yeah. Um, but I've always loved the old planes, the radio engines and that, and I've seen this and said one day I'll do it, next minute I got handed the tickets. Yep. And um, you said you're retiring soon, like in the next year? Yeah, I'll be 67 in October next year, so I'll probably go to December next year, maybe January. Oh, cool, okay. Nice work. I, um, like I said, I got, I was a paramedic, but I got hurt and I got put off medically under the Oh, right. In 2000, so I lost a lot of super, so I just had to build that up again. Yeah, okay. But, um, yeah, you get hurt, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, so Big holes for us. Going back up to Carry Carry again. Yep. Yeah. Is that an old power station down on the left under the left wing or that wing? Oh yeah, it's got a, it's it actually might have been a mill to think now I think about it. Yeah. Um, I think it was some sort of mill. Because you can see all the um, there's a train line that goes into it. It's a big old building, isn't it? And the yeah. water there, so it's probably steam or something. Yeah, we've got a helicopter training area we use down here, and when you do your laps around, you fly straight over it. So yeah, I've seen it quite a lot from the ground. Yeah. I'm sorry, from the air, low level one. It almost looks like a museum, you know, the old train carriages are still out there. Yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff there. Um, when you're travelling out west towards Broken Hill and that, yeah, just in the middle of nowhere you'll see an old building and there's no one there and you have to walk around and I know, yeah, there's just the history that's in it. There's a lot of history out there actually. Yeah. Heaps of history. And we're coming up there, basically Seth's knocking, you can sort of see the ranges in front of us now. Absolutely great to Sammy. Sounds like there's a few people in the circuit there. It's just not got busy since we left. Yeah. Uh, would you be keen on doing some aerobatics? Yeah, yeah, give it a go. Well, we'll just start off slow, so the, the first one I'll do, I'll just do a nice slow, um, we call it an aileron roll because we use the ailerons, obviously. Yep. A barrel roll, sort of a bit more, a bit more pitching and rolling, but the aileron roll just sort of rolls it around the nose. Yep, so I'll pitch the nose up, I'll say 3, 2, 1, and I'll just gently roll it around so you get equal view of the sky and the ground. Be happy with that? Yeah, yeah. So everything's secure, you've got your phone jammed in that little pocket. Yep, my phone in the pocket. Yep. I'll just lower the nose a little bit, we'll get up some high. Nose up to my feet on the horizon. Out there and say three, two, one, and round we go. Oh, nice work into the cloud a little bit. Yeah, so very easy, slow maneuver there. You, you shouldn't feel like you're hanging on your straps at all. Yeah, no, that was nice. Uh, because you know you, you don't hang upside down. We kind of fall, fall with the aircraft, so you don't get that um, that feeling that you're falling. Uh, yeah, the other one is like a barrel roll, which I'll show you, which is more of a sort of pitching and rolling. I'll just get some more speed up here. Check our altitude's good, there's no one above us. The barrel roll is more like a constant change, so we get to the same altitude here. And we just roll and pitch and roll and pitch and roll and pitch all the way around. Here we get to halfway, 90 degrees off, and just continue the rolling and pitching at the same time. And there's about 2 G, 2.5 G in the bottom. You sort of feel yourself being pushed into the seat a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, it's supposed to be, you can, that's the one where you can pour a glass of water. Yeah, it's not a hard hit with the, no, at the end of it, it's nice and smooth. Yeah, it's not, it's not supposed to be snappy or anything, so. If you're up here, we'll do, we'll do a loop, if you get to that. Sorry, that again, please. Yeah, loop. We'll just do a little bit more G, but it won't be any more than you really need, but seeing the last one, so. Up we go, so there's about 3G there, just keep looking in front. I look over to the wingtip now, and then I look above us, and you can be able to see the ground. That's a pretty good view of the ground as we come over the top. Mm. Nice, how are you feeling, okay? Yeah, I'm all good, good. good. This grunting through the G's a bit. Yeah, that, that does push you into the seat a little bit, I'll just open it up a little bit there. 
Yankee's left side is one step, full stop system. Uniform pit special, third base, final, runway 17. 